Hey everybody, this is my 267 and I'm about to show you how to download and use Tortoise SPN. First off, you want to go to tortoisespn.net slash downloads. Um, if you can't find that, um, I'm going to post a link in the description. You want to scroll down to download application. If you weren't running Windows XP, you want to download the 32-bit version right here. Vista and Windows 7, download the 64-bit version right here. I'm running Windows 7, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit. You should see a box, something like this, depending on what browser you have. Go ahead and click Save File or Run the File. Uh, when this is done downloading, um, you're going to want to go ahead and run it. Now that it's done, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Click Run. Go through this installer and it'll ask you to restart your computer when you're done. I'm not going to do that because I already have this installed. But, um, you don't have to restart your computer, it won't work. You can find a lot of SPN leaks on the internet. Just um, when you find one, make your folder. Um, I'm going to download Wire Mod. You can name it whatever you want, but nice and stay organized. For, this is for the game Gary's Mod. But, anyways, you're going to want to right click and click SPN Checkout, and you should get a folder. Um, pop up something like this. I already have the link entered but you'll want to copy and paste your link into this box right here and click OK. Now this is going to install it and everything but um, it's going to take a while so I already have something like this set up in another directory so I'll just show you how to update on that. Okay, so here we have our um, add-on or whatever that needs updating. You're going to want to right-click it and click SVN Update. And after it updates, or if as long as you don't change anything, you should see a green check mark here. You want to update stuff frequently, or you'll get a lot of outdated files. But like I have right here, and when that's done, um. Well, it's ready for you to use. So that's all you really need to know about SVN, and see you guys later.